I'm saying for the police, I'm going to be here all day videotaping. Look at poster seven. It's illegal. Yeah, I'm one of those poster seven guys. You're in trouble, lady. You're going to be famous when I'm through with you. Okay. Why are you hiding behind a wall there, Miss Wade? You ashamed of yourself the way you just behaved? You you, yeah. Yeah, you you don't deserve this job. You don't deserve this job. Making false claims that I threatened you? Making false claims that I threatened you. You think this is your private little Idaho in here, lady? Oh, it's where it says that it's legal for him to be in the intersection. Yeah. 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 Kelly Snyder just admitting putting a ripped up envelope in my mailbox and then the he's postmaster here, came in. Still still I'm narrating to my customers. Ripped up in my box. Intentionally. Look at that. That's your postmaster right there. Imagine that. Okay. She's going to get fired anyway. It didn't matter. She's going to get fired anyway. So are you, lady. You think so? Yes, I do. The way you I behave today. Right uh, yeah, go ahead. Make up a story. Make up a story. Thank you. Okay. I don't see a package. And this lady said I threatened to buy, said I was going to make her famous. 
And she said that was a threat. Yeah. So I'm doing this to protect myself. All my subscribers will see who it is. Christina Wade, imagine that. surgery and won't be able to pick my mail up for other a week okay. or over a week is that okay. a problem no it shouldn't be do you want to put in a whole card so that we're okay so that we know that not to worry okay. Is your uh, trooper? Thank you. I'll be here waiting. He is standing in front of me, and I'll be here waiting, sir. Copy of the post I'll be wait here waiting, sir. I got it on video. This lady's a liar. She's a liar. No, no, there's no cage here. I'm peacefully recording her. I smell bullshit. She's lying, saying I threatened her. Say that, Miss Wade. Tell the truth. The threat has nothing to do with your report. I did not threaten you at all. And you're going to be have to answer to that false police report you just made. That's a criminal offense, what you just did. Yeah, Miss Wade. Criminal offense. No, D, D isn't David. H isn't Henry. D isn't David. Do you need me to stick around at all? Nope. I don't. Thank you so much. Yeah. Enjoy your day. You too. Let me, let me double check it. I think it was D isn't David. D isn't David. Stepped into here. <laughs> How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? Good to see a smiling face yes, for a sir. change. Yes. This used to be such a nice post office. I... Well, it still can be. Yeah, but... it still can be. You got to get new people in here. That's well... it. But the customers are friendly. Hey, Sam. nice to meet you, pal. Same here. Hope everything turns out for you guys. I, I just want to document this lady making a false police report. That's all. Oh, that's... Criminal offense. She's a criminal, this lady. Christina Wade. Imagine how many times she's gotten away with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. A little imagine, nervous. Imagine how many yeah, times imagine how many let's times. Let's try, let's try False. Let's try peace. Let's try peace. Try, I tried it. Uh, I just need you to verify that that's your address. We're all human beings. beings. We all fail, right? Thank you. Yeah, but not when you're under the day. color of working for the federal government uh, under Post to 7. A few minutes later... Okay. 
Don't worry, I got one too. I'm not worried about anything, sir. What's going on? What's your name and badge number? No, no, it's okay. Name and badge number. Trooper Jerica. Badge number? 1858. Why are you crowding me? You trying to intimidate me? Are you trying to intimidate? Are you trying to intimidate me? Are you trying to intimidate me? Oh, we have a special snowflake. Sir. Under color of law, are you trying to intimidate me? Why did you just back up? Yeah, who called? Who called? I did. Oh. I'm on with them right now. You, do you want me to hang up since they're here? Sir, can you have your name and badge number? Step outside for a can I have your name and badge number, sir? Okay. Badge number? No, no. I don't have a badge. I have a shield. It's two one zero four. Okay, thank you, sir. No problem. Can you just step outside? No. I figure out what's going on. No. By. This is a public area. I'm filming in public. It's a First Amendment protected activity. It's actually a federal, it's a fr it's a federal it, office building. And you are not a federal officer. You have no jurisdiction in this building. I actually have no, 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 sir. Call your supervisor. Get a supervisor here now. Get a supervisor here. Get a supervisor here. You can call my supervisor. That's fine. You can. You can. No, don't say that. You'll see the video on, t on, on YouTube, sir, and you'll see she started it. I yeah. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. I talk to you in there? Look at this. Yeah, I'll hang around. Yeah. Thank you. So that intimidation thing, does that work for you a lot when you get right in people's faces like you did? Is that what they teach you at the academy? You just go right into people's faces, even though they're having a constitutionally protected activity. Look at him. Probably works for you a lot, huh, pal? In working this, on this Irishman. So just so you know, I don't answer questions, but I will tell you the lady said I threatened her by telling her she's going to be famous when I'm through with her. That's all I said. She made a false police report saying that I threatened her. And the reason why I was pissed off, I got to my post box today, which I've had for 40 years here, and it was a ripped up piece of mail that the clerk put in there. See this right here? See, Trooper, if you want to know what's going on. Right I can talk. Free speech. You don't like it? Go outside. Go for coffee. Yeah, tell me going I'm telling it. you what to do. You work for me. I don't work for you. You got that? You're a public servant. You're a servant. Don't talk to me like that. Your intimidation tactic didn't work, pal. Not working on me. No, no, no. You don't, you don't want to start it. I'm a nice guy. Okay. Get in my face like you're all tough. You ain't nothing, pal. Right. Nothing. Look at you. Yeah. The gun and a badge, you're a tough Step guy, up. huh? No. Step Oops. back. Go look at this. I'm six feet away. Look at this. Look at up six feet. Look at him. You're look forward. at how look at how aggressive you get. Look at look at the de-escalation training kicking in. Look at this guy. Wait till his advisor sees this. Sorry. Look sorry. at this guy. You're welcome to come in. Wait, 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 wait till his supervisor sees okay. this guy. See how he just did that? How he, he tried to turn it? That's what these guys do. That's what he does. This is what we deal with. Yeah, this is what you deal with. You deal with American citizens that know their right, that don't take nothing from punks like you. Yeah, that's right. That's what we deal with. Yeah, punks like you that try to intimidate a citizen. Yeah, that's right, pal. That's what you deal with, someone that knows their rights. How many times did that work? And then you said, step back. Look at you. Your little de-escalation training kicked in, huh? You're a punk. You are. Yes, yeah, look at that little nervous punk laugh. Look at him. Look at this guy. Step back. You're a bitch, man. Stop it. Get some help. Look at this guy. Where do you, all, all the other troopers see you doing that? You're going to be embarrassing, man. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at him. Stand up. G.I. Joe over here. Getting all in my face like he's going to intimidate somebody. 
And when it all comes out, you'll see that I wasn't the one that did anything, sir. She filed a false police okay. record. Should I get back again, dear okay. sweetheart? Should okay. I get back, sweetheart? Yeah, look at him. Do little, not move closer. Little punk. Don't tell me what to do. I'll walk anywhere I want. This is America. Do not walk closer. You're a coward. Maybe I You're a coward. Get his mail, huh? yeah. You're a coward. Do not walk closer. Look, coward. Do not walk closer. What a coward this punk is right here. Disgrace to that badge. Every trooper I ever knew in my whole four, 61 years would be embarrassed at this punk right here. Little coward. Getting in my face like he's tough. You know damn well if he didn't have that badge of gum, he would never step to me like that, ever. Ever. Threaten, yeah. You're going to be famous too there, coward. You're going to be a famous New York punk coward. Look at him. Step back. Should I step back again? Look how far away I'm away from this guy. I'm six feet away from this coward. I don't really trust this guy behind me because he's a coward with a gun. Hope he doesn't shoot me. Thomas had never seen such bullshit before. The punk. Hello, sir. Okay, now you seem like a decent guy. Don't step to me. Step back with your aggressive punk coward ass, all right? All right. Now you seem like a nice guy, so I'll talk to you. Okay? I your name for okay, my name is... Listen, first of all, let me tell you something. Yeah. My name is Brian Cannon. I usually don't identify, but yeah. you seem like a nice guy. This punk, I wouldn't tell him nothing. Look at that little, look at the little bitch smile he's got. Look at him. We're trying to you, you what a punk stuff. coward you are, stepping to me and threatening me. I got it on film. Right. He just intimi tried to intimidate me under the color of law, doing a constitutionally protected oh. activity. Let me finish what I'm saying if you want me to answer your questions, sir. Because I don't answer questions usually. I told you that. Okay. Let me tell you what happened. I've had a post box here. For 30 years, I'm Brian Cannon, Greenville Plumbing. I just came in here to get a money order, which I do regularly to send to my daughter in college. You understand? Yeah. There was a lady named Kelly Snyder that was the postmaster at the desk. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what's this in my, in my thing? She goes, oh, uh, what's this ripped up thing right here in my thing? She goes, oh, I put it there. I said, what'd you put it in there for? We ripped up. What is this? She goes, oh, you don't leave garbage in the... The first time I ever seen this was in my box. I said, garbage? What do you mean? Occupant P.O. Box 225. Mm -hmm. So this is what I've seen today when I come and conduct my business as a professional, okay? So don't get the wrong impression, okay? So I said that to her. She goes, oh, I put it in there. You don't leave garbage in the thing. She started, like, chastising me. I said, excuse me, ma'am. Who are you talking to like that? I said, I'm going to make a formal complaint about you talking to me like that. Okay, I've been coming here for years. These people used to be sweethearts. So I said, I'm going to get, I said, she goes, oh, I'm going to get my postmaster. So Miss Christina Wade comes up and she stemmed. I said, what's your name and what's your badge number? She comes up and I said, this lady just put this thing in, 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 in my box. I said, she's admitted to doing it. I said, what is that about you? Well, you don't leave garbage. She goes, I said, let me explain something to you. I'm going to make a formal complaint against you and her. That's what I said. Yeah. I said, by the time I'm through with you, you're going to be famous, which she is. See back there, Miss Christina Way, the postmaster? She's going to be famous. That's what he said. She goes, oh, you're threatening me? Like this coward here, how he said I was threatening him. That's how. <laughs> you serious? That's how the escalation is a good thing, sir. She came over, instead of handling it, she said, oh, are you threatening me? And then she, hey, you're rolling your eyes. Am I bothering you? No. Okay, so you're lucky I'm talking to you, pal. Mm -hmm. I usually just, I wouldn't even talk to you. You seem like a nice guy. You want to roll your eyes again or you want to talk to me? Not roll my eyes. Okay. So, listen. Uh, listen, to you. You know listen I mean? who are you? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? ZZ Top. What's your name? 
But sir, I mean. But what? You're going to let him try him in? You want to talk to me? You want to. Well, no, 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 no. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. No, 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 no. No, no, you're not telling me nothing. I let you talk. No, no, no. I'm not finished talking. This is a constitutionally protected activity. Hey, shut your mouth back there. No one's talking to you. This is a constitutional back to, I came in here to do business. This lady, I said, I'm going to, you're going to be famous when I'm through with you. You're going to be famous when I'm through with you because I'm going to make a formless complaint. And as Christina came up there and she goes, this one over here, that was the poster. She goes, Oh, I quit. I said, it doesn't matter if you quit. You're going to be fired anyway. You're going to be famous when I'm through with you. She goes, Oh, you're making a film. That's all I said. And she, I said, well, and then she got on the phone and said, I made a threat. So that was a threat. So now I got her on film. Making a false police report. Do you understand that, trooper, sir? Okay. Okay, so do, let's talk about you, you, your law enforcement. Your law enforcement, right? We're, okay, your law enforcement. Okay, so we're talking about laws here. We're not talking about feelings. We're not talking about anything like that. Okay, we're talking about law. This lady right here broke the law by saying I threatened her. I never threatened her. I'm pissed off that this ripped up shit was in my box that I've had for 30 years. I'm a plumber from the area. I'm usually friendly with everybody. Shut your mouth back there. No one's talking to you. Shut your mouth back there. No one's talking to you. Then this guy, just Kelly left. She goes, oh, I quit. Okay. So she left. She's going to get fired anyway when they see the video. Yeah. What she did to me. Okay. Now, this one over here saying, oh, you're making threats against me. I'm going to call the cops. I said, I'll wait for them to get here. Then as soon as they get here, this punk right here got in my face like he's big and bad. And he was starting to intimidate me under the color of law. Do you know that's a federal offense, sir? To intimidate somebody doing a constitutional protected activity under the color of law and this coward right here started, and then he got, I got him about four minutes later saying, stay back from me. You're a punk. Listen, you're a little bitch. You shouldn't be a cop. Mr. I'm looking at your face. You're a, look at me. Okay. You're a bitch. Okay. You listen, shouldn't be hey, a trooper. Okay. Listen, listen, okay. Listen. No. All right. Listen, I let you talk for a second. Can okay. I talk now? You can all talk right. all you want. All right. Here's the deal. They don't. So you're not, you're being inappropriate in here. No, 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 okay. sir. The you inappropriate start. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm Fire when a false report is inappropriate. Listen, I'm talking now. Okay. So, so what? So you're have... talking, you work for me. Don't, don't talk to me like. I'm your dog. I don't work for you. I yes, you do. Police. You work for me. I do not work for you. Okay. I work for state police. All right. Okay. You work for me. Okay. I work for You're state a public police. servant. You get okay. that? I know what a public she servant She filed a phone, pl false police report. That's where it all started getting so, going you know, south. You are free to conduct business in okay. your please. Yes, okay? I am. But if you don't have any more business to do, they are kindly asking you to leave. There's a thing not I'm, causing any more problems. Okay, so okay, okay I listen to you. Listen, there's, there's a ways if you want to no, no, no. make a formal complaint, you can make a Poster complaint. Seven. That's are you familiar with Poster Seven? I don't know. Poster Seven is on the wall in all post offices. Uh -huh. You are allowed to film in lobbies and foyers and entrances of post office all day long. And filming I, by listen, itself is the business. I don't know anything about that. Okay, well, you better look it up before you start talking to me. I don't know anything okay. about that. I called when he said that he was going to make So, my listen, uh, if you can, when he's done if you got, mail yeah, okay, stuff, that's what I said. So you know. And you're going to be famous too, punk. If you got mail you're going to pick up, you can I'm here, I'm going to be here all day. I'm going to be here, you're going to leave way well, before I leave. Unless you want to violate my rights, you can do that right now. Nobody's violating Okay, you can do it if you want, then I'll sue you under 1983. You know what that is? I don't know. US 42, 1983. Under the color of law, trying to intimidate me like this coward did. I'm not intimidated. Okay, well, he tried it, and it did, did it work there, chump? Look at him. Look at him, little Nobody's punk. Yeah, me. go back. You're going to be a dog catcher when I'm through with you, you bitch. Nobody's trying to intimidate you. Little bitch cop. Look at him. Look, he had a lead. He's a punk. You're a punk. If you curse one more time. Yeah, what? I can Free speech. No, no, no. It's free speech. You guys worked me up into this with the intimidation. I'm going to Nobody's prove this. Listen, up. when the judge sees this tape, he's going to say, what the hell did these cops 
come in and right off the bat I thought mean, I was the bad guy. Have I not been talking to you nicely? You have. have you have. But he started the bad I'm he started the bad vibes. So what do you think? It cuts off? I'm asking you nicely not to curse out in public. Okay. It is illegal to curse in public. We're respect to you, sir. Being Since so you're being awesome. a cool guy, you seem yeah. like a young, nice guy with a good fur with a good future. You got a good personality. This coward right here does it. He got right in my grill. This you're a coward. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. You didn't want to listen to anything I had to say. Shut your mouth, coward. I got it on film and wait till your supervisors. I, you know how many troopers I know? They're going to look at you and say, this bitch got to get, he's, he's getting brought up on some kind of shit. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Yo, no, you're going to come and help them? Yeah, they're going to be famous like you. Listen, if we're going to, like, I'm not going to say another word. I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to be here till closing. I'm going to be here till the end of the day. Right here. Constitutionally protected activity of filming in public. Poster 7 has all the rules of conduct of filming on a post office. Wrong. Okay. So I'm, I know if I'm into my rights. I don't know anything okay. about Poster 7. Well, you seven. better learn if you're going to think you're going to enforce. I, I don't have a problem with you okay. filming. Okay. Have I made an issue about that? We have cameras too. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and sir, let me just, okay. So filming. let me just take it down a notch and I'll de escalate. I came in here like I do every day to send a money order to my daughter in college like I do. You know, everything's cool. I'm the local Greenville plumbing is me, 43 years, 61 year old guy. I'm fine. When I came, I found this shit ripped up in my box. See this right here, this garbage? I understand. And I went to, right to the lady, and she said, oh, I did that. You shouldn't leave garbage in the thing. So this put, is a postal employee put garbage, tear it up? Listen, can I explain to you Go what ahead. the process of... Go ahead. You can make a formal complaint. I did to her stuff. supervisor, and the supervisor came over and said I was making a threat by saying she's going to be famous. So now she's going to be famous. She's perceived that as a threat. How can you perceive that as a threat? It's not a direct threat. I can understand not, what you're saying. It's not she a filed threat. a police report saying I threatened her. That's why I waited for the police to she come. She filed a report. She's... What, made a false report. In, she, I didn't curse or yell till you guys showed up and this guy got what in my face. Got, this punk got in my face. That's when I yelled. What if I got you a okay. Shut up. Boss. Shut up. Yeah, see. Shut up. Now you already, you already, yeah, see, you, you could have been a gentleman in the front, but you know what? You know how you did it. I got it on video. Hey, I'd like to say I, that. I got it on video. I appreciate, I appreciate what you Hey, doing. listen, nobody cares what you appreciate, okay? Okay, but I just really have something I really would like to do. No, that's your, go ahead. No one's hindering you. No, you, that lady's the one that made the false police report. Not me. Really I'm doing this for my protection. Just, yeah, go ahead. Look, look at this little little powwow here. Little powwow. Who, how many people's so, how many people's rights have you violated there, tough coward? Do you see the issue? Yes, here? yeah, no, I no, bet. Listen, listen uh, you see the issue here? People are trying to come here to conduct their own business. And if they but didn't put this garbage in my post box and file a false report, okay. Oh, About Brian Cannon making threats, I would have been gone an hour ago. No, okay. In trouble, okay. I, I don't know why I'm in trouble. You're in trouble. Wait, I file a report on you, pal. Yeah, well, you oh, laugh. With, you, you, I already got all your shit I need. I'll give you the number. To the you don't have to give it to me. I already got you in right. check, what punk. You You're a punk. Listen, you You're a punk. I need you to get fired, is what I need. Listen, yeah, okay. Why? You don't think you're going to get brought up on this? No. Yeah, okay. No, because you do it all the time with all your Sir, boyfriends. Do you need help or something? Yeah, I need you help. Somebody, you want me to call I, an ambulance or something? Are you having a medical emergency? Now, see, that's what they I'm do, which is an insult to mentally health people. It's not an insult. Yes, it is. It's not yes, it is. For somebody to come out here and yeah. start yelling and screaming. No, when, when the cop I'm comes. I'm trying to explain to you what you could do. You can make a formal complaint. I'll give you, I, you know what I'm saying? Listen, listen, would you tell this guy to shut up? I want to talk to you. Tell him to shut his mouth. He's, you got it. He's not talking. Okay? You gonna shut your mouth? Yeah, he's trying. Yeah. Thank you. He's trying to be reasonable. Thank he's a reasonable you, coward. Person. He's a coward. He's been reasonable. He walked right up to my face and thought he was a big tough guy. I he would have never I done that. He would have never. You're a, you're a punk. And then within a minute, he's like, get back. Get back. My safety. You're a coward. I have it on film. You're a bitch. You shouldn't be a cop. Oh, okay. That's great. Listen, if you don't have business being conducted here, you know Sir, I mean? if it's you not know, for somebody to stay here, poster seven start screaming and yelling for no reason when you can listen, just make a formal when I'm uh, intimidated you know on no video by a cop, I could get a little worked up.
The judge that's going to see this is going to say, wow, I don't blame that guy being pissed off. Garbage, know. shut up already, I will you? Know how the judge is going to see it. We're yeah, because I'm going to post it, and I'm going to get it. To, you, you don't know how many subscribers I got. I'm telling you, you don't realize what's going on with that. Let me just tell you, once again, you seem like a cool dude. Poster 7, me filming in here, just filming. First Amendment protected activity. Is all the business I need to be here? Did I say anything about your camera? Okay, so if, if I had, if I had, this if, is if my you business. Were violating, violating a law with your camera, I would already arrest you. You already been in handcuffs already. Yeah. All right. Are you in handcuffs? Don't no. you did me a favor by not arresting me for constitutional? I didn't do anybody That's stupid. You just made yourself look stupid. I'm not okay? doing anybody a favor. You just I'm made yourself you. look stupid. You went from a cool what? dude to be like a, a stupid. Okay. Listen, you're saying there's something wrong with you videotaping. I've never said that. You're saying that. Okay. I've never said anything about. I didn't say there was something wrong. I said. I said if you don't have any business here, my business is filming now. Your business. My film. I'm like. They're asking you kindly to leave. They can ask all they want. I'll deny their request kindly. Okay. I mean, so. You have any lawful orders you want to give me to violate my rights? I'm not violating your rights. Okay. What, when did I violate your rights? No, you would have been a nice guy up until you did that mental ill thing you just did two minutes ago. Well, I don't think it's normal for somebody to stay here and yell. Who are you to say what normal is? When huh? a cop got, that cop just got in my face. Well, this guy out here, he's waiting to get well, his that's, mail. Well, he, he can get his mail. Huh? He can do anything he wants. Let me you know, like, explain this right now, sir. Did I, you see him yelling and screaming? Sir, what is sir. That an issue? You what, see him yelling and screaming? You did she screaming? make a false complete about him? No. Okay, but she did against me. She said that's exactly why I'm exactly what you stated that you're going to make her famous. Right. That's not a that's not a direct threat. Right. All right. So why did she call up and say it was? Uh, she felt threatened. OK. And why did the Kelly Schneider immediately I quit? I don't, I don't know. She, she immediately quit, she bro. Here when I got here. OK. I to to she quit. It said I quit and walked out because she knew uh, with the garbage that I had in my thing. Yeah. She, uh, dude, well, you would have got fired anyway, bro. Just, I, I don't know. Like. I understand you're pissed off about your mail. That's I'm pissed off at that off. pig that just got my face. Your piglet friend. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm pissed off at, sir. Okay? That's, that was bullshit what he did. He came right in my grill like he was going to intimidate me. And I looked at him like I told him to back up. And within two minutes, he said, back away from me. Like he saw, wait, look, wait, dude, wait till the, the uh, uh, advisor, what I'm saying, the, uh, uh, today, junior. What do, what do you call it? Supervisor sees that. They're going to say, man, that dude. That dude caused the, the the escalation, that cop right there. Okay. I'm telling you, he did. I got enough film, sir. Okay. So far, listen, you've been a gentleman. You've been a cool guy. And I wish you a great career and be safe out there. Everybody, but I'm going to be here all day. Everybody, uh, I'm going to be here. Unless you arrest me and violate my rights, I'm going to be standing here till 5 o'clock. Okay, so you can say what you want. You can get your supervisor. You can do whatever you feel like you have to do. I would have been gone an hour ago, pal, if she didn't say I threatened her. And then what do I do? I leave and now they got cops looking at me for threat and something? No, I face people if you got false accusations against me. That's what I do. I face people. I'm a man. And then I got that pig coming in here, your partner coward, getting right in my face, like trying to intimidate me. Okay? I wonder how many times he did that. How many times did he violate people's rights and beat down people and all that other shit under the, under the color of law? Under the color of law, that piglet tried to intimidate me. That in itself is a felony. Do you know that? Intimidating someone under the color of law is a felony. So you better learn the law books. Stop hitting the rifle range and go to the library That's because right. you don't seem to know what the laws are. I know what the laws are. Yeah, you don't know what the laws are. I do know. Yeah, okay. You might, but you don't know all of them. I know you don't know the federal laws, post to seven. I'm not a federal agent. Okay, I know you're not. You seem like, dude, like, once again, let me just, let me just say this right now. You seem like a cool dude. I mean, you actually, I grew up in Yonkers, bro. I, I, I grew up in Yonkers. I grew up with Yonkers, bro. You can, you can look at BrianCannon.com on the website, mine. I'm the coolest lovey-dovey musician you ever met until people f mess with me okay. and make false threatening things that I made a threat against. So, now it's on. You understand that? Regarding your mail, okay. Okay. what you could do is make a complaint. I already going to do, do that. investigation on how your mail got ripped up. You know what I'm saying? If you I don't care. It's not, it wasn't even made out to me. It was not made out to me. Huh? It was not even made out to me. It wasn't my mail. It just said occupant 225, which is my box. And someone was ripped. I was like, what's this shit? And it's I asked this lady. Mail? It's not even my fucking my mail. It's not your name on it? No. So then what's the problem then? Because she put it in my box. And I said, what is this? She goes, I put it in there. You shouldn't be putting garbage all around. This is the clerk telling me. That's all your. That's what started it. Okay. 
That's what you're upset about? That's what, no. And I'm, then I was upset that I want to make a complaint against her, put that garbage in my mail. She brought over her postmaster, and then her postmaster said, oh, this guy's threatening me. So she, instead of handling it as an advisor. Because you were yelling like you were No, I wasn't out. yelling at that point. I wasn't yelling at that. I wasn't even yelling at that point. I smell bullshit. Yelling this whole time. Yeah, when, yeah, when the cop got in my face, yeah. I started yelling. Okay? I, okay. Listen, I got it on film, so there's not you can say. There's not you can it. say. I, I'm just saying. I okay. Like I said, I you see. What, yeah, look at the, the cow. Place. Look at him in the back. A little punk. A little cow. I got him on film. When the troopers see this guy right here. The Troopers, I know. I'm 61 years old from Yonkers, bro. Okay? okay? I've been moving up here for 40 years. I've been a plumber up here. Yeah. This is my summer place. I moved up here. Okay. okay? This guy got in my face like he was a tough guy. Now, if he didn't have that badger gun, he would have never gotten my face. Look at him. Okay. He's a little punk. So, so listen, I got it on tape. That's guy. what got, that's what triggered me, sir. Right. So you want to well, be, you want to play Dr. Phil? Not, that's what, that's what triggered well, I'm me. I'm not Dr. Phil. That's okay. why I asked if you want an ambulance to go. Yeah, now then you started doing, that's what cops do when they do it. No, I'm totally I, fine. I don't think it's normal. I'm uh, trying to help you out, man. You got my Irish up is what happened. Not you, but that dude. I'm just telling you, it's okay. not normal for somebody to be yelling like this. Okay. Over, uh. Over what? Oh, a false? No, 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 no. The false police well, report. It stemmed from you having ripped up mail in your mailbox. Yeah, that's that wasn't addressed not to me. Your mail. That's not even addressed to me. And then I don't know what occurred well, between you and the female. I here, said to her, I said, "What's this new in it?" She goes, "I put it there. You shouldn't be putting garbage she around." Said, she said, wait, same thing. Huh? Stories match." No, no. The she lady. We were gonna make her famous. Yeah. And she felt threatened by that. Okay. So that. A normal person would be like, okay, I'm just going to call because I don't feel comfortable. Okay. If she doesn't feel comfortable, she doesn't feel comfortable. And then she was on the phone narrating the whole time that, like, I'm, I'm doing something bad to her. I don't okay? Know. I'll be right yeah. I don't care. I'll be here all day. I'll be here all day, guys. Sir. There's a public lobby, sir. Right. There's a public lobby. There's no expectation right. of privacy in public. You better learn the laws there, tough guy. You better stop going to the gym and go to the library. Thank you. Yeah, don't close that on me, punk. I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you, yeah. There you go, look at him. The, the walk of shame, they call that. Look at these punk. The walk of shame. The walk of shame, look at him. The walk of shame, look at him. Sir. The walk of shame. Look at him, little punk. Should have never gotten my face, you little coward. Should have never gotten my face, you coward. Yeah, you know you were a fucking coward, little bitch. Your name and badge number, sir? Your name and badge number, sir? Are you a police officer? Okay, another asshole. Look at this guy. All these punks out. Look at this guy. All the gray hairs he's got. He fucking don't even know how to identify himself. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. Walk away. Another coward. Another fucking coward. Yeah, look at him. Go. What, are you going to beat me up, Porky? What, are you going to beat me up? Fucking bitch. What you gotta do is identify yourself instead of being an asshole. Oh, they send the Durham punks down to back them up? What are you gonna do? Bait their hook? Fucking loser. Look at this punk right here. Look at this guy. All these fucking tough guy cops, a bunch of bitches up here, look at him. Fucking, look at the lines on his face, looks like fucking Google Maps, look at this dude. Little punk, fucking attitude. Town of Durham. You fuck any sheep today, punk? Fucking bitch. Fucking guy getting in my face like he's all tough. Look at him. Fucking doofy punk. Walk of shame. There you go.
You disgrace to the badge. Walk of shame. Sir, you are out of line. Boom. Roasted. You have been out of line. Shut your mouth, lady. Yeah, you are being abusive and hostile and aggressive, and I viewed his Excuse me. That way Excuse me. You didn't, so shut your mouth to go die somewhere. Hey, 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 you shut your face. If we want to hear you talk, I will shove my arm up your ass and work your mouth like a puppet. You hear me? You hear me? Pick the wrong dude today, a tough guy. Pick the wrong guy today, huh? Yo, don't close that arm. Look at his arm. Oh, thank you. Look at this guy. You're locking me in? Would you lock the fucking quit slam the door on me, bitch? This fucking guy slammed the door on me? You slammed the door on me. You're under arrest. I'm under arrest? Okay, let's go. Okay? You're under arrest. Don't turn my phone off. Do not turn my phone off. You're under arrest. Do not turn my phone off. This is poorly kind of